Let's do another example. g of x equals 4x squared minus 5x plus 4. Well, we're trying to find g of x plus a minus g of x. So first off, I need to find g of x plus a. Once I do that, I'll replace it. I already know what g of x is. This is g of x. So this is the main thing to worry about. So first, I need to find g of x plus a. Everywhere I see an x, it becomes an x plus a. See this x right here? He's going to become an x plus a. And this x right here, he's going to become an x plus a. So 4 times x plus a squared, because there's a squared up here in the original function, g, minus 5 times, there's an x there, so it becomes an x plus a plus 4. We're just trying to find this part right here first. So let's try to clean this up a bit. x plus a times x plus a minus, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I don't know what's minus yet. I'll go ahead and distribute my negative 5. So negative 5 times x, negative 5x. Negative 5 times a is a negative 5a. And there's just a plus 4 here. Multiply this out here. x times x is x squared. x times a, x a. a times x is x a. a times a is a squared. Minus 5x minus 5a plus 4. Man, this is good stuff. All right. These two guys go together. It's 2xa. So I'm going to distribute my 4 to all three pieces. So 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 2 is 8xa. 4 times a squared is 4a squared. You still got a minus 5x. You still got a minus 5a. You still got a plus 4. And I don't see any like terms here. This, this big old thing right here is x plus a. Big old thing right there is x plus a. This whole big thing here is x plus a. So remember the original, I'm supposed to determine x, g of x plus a, which is this yellow spot, it's all this yellow right here, minus g of x. So I'm going to replace this with what it's equal to. It's equal to this right here. And g of x, well, I know what g of x is. Right here it is. That's g of x. So I replace this right here. And for this guy, I put this big long thing in. Let's see if I've got enough room on my paper here. g of x, 4x squared plus 8xa plus 4a squared minus 5x minus 5a plus 4. That's g of x plus a. Now we write this part. Minus, because it's a minus there, minus all of g of x, which is in red here. 4x squared minus 5x uh, plus 4. Remember, there's a one, there's a little negative one right there. So everything gets hit by a negative one. So essentially what happens is you get a negative 4x squared, a positive 5x, and a negative 4. I'll go ahead and rewrite this whole thing one more time. No, I'm not going to rewrite it. Look what happens. Positive 4 and negative 4 cancels. 5x and a negative 5x cancels. Just combine like terms, I'll do them. Negative 4x squared, positive 4x squared. Cancels. What are we left with? We're left with a 4a squared. We're left with a positive 8xa. And we're left with a negative 5a. And that's our answer. That is g of x plus a minus g of x. Right there. Man, it's good stuff.